So this is kind of an unboxing without the box. The box is kind of too big to film. And once again, um, my husband couldn't wait to get into a box of something that arrived last night. Um, so we opened it up and had a look and everything was fine. Everything was here that I'd ordered. Um, this is all from Curry's, but Royal Talents was having a sale um, worldwide, as I talk about in another video. Um, so I've been wanting to get into oil painting. Um, I have, I work up in the attic of my house and I was a little concerned about um, fumes and things like that. Uh, I have two windows, but you know, right now it's winter, so that's a little too cold to have them open. I have a cat who's constantly by my side, so uh, you probably have heard her in other videos. And um, so I was investigating um, the water mixable um, oil paints, and so I decided to take the leap and take advantage of this Royal Talents uh, sale and get their line called Cobra. So their Cobra line, they also do regular oil, but this is a water mixable oil color. And um, you can still use uh, white spirits and things like that. Um, but cleanup you were supposedly able to do with uh, just soap and water. So we'll see. Um, so what I did was I got the, what's called the Zorn palette. Uh, Andrew Zorn, um, artist from the late 19th, early 20th century. Um, this is the palette that he, it's thought that he used. So anyways, I'll take this out. This is a huge tube of white. Um, they didn't have actually the smaller one, but that's okay. I think I'll be using a lot of that if this takes off. So his palette was black, ivory black, yellow ochre, and vermilion, or cadmium um, red light, and white. So he would have used flake white. We're now using titanium white because it's a lot safer. And I also threw in ultramarine blue, although you can get blue out of the, the black as well. So right now, I'll leave a link in the comments um, to Jackson's in the UK. They have a huge article actually on, as it happens, it was posted today, um, on the Zorn palette and how you can mix a whole range of colors just using these four colors. So I also got the um, glazing medium um, that helps with um, working with the oils uh, as well. And then I got the um, odorless varnish in satin. Not sure that I really need this because this I'm going to be practicing for a while. I think, because I've never used oils. I got like, a bunch of oil paints when I was a kid, but none of the mediums to use. I hadn't a clue. Um, there wasn't the internet to look things up, um, so I never did actually use them. And I got this because I don't have, I haven't got a palette yet. I want to get another um, glass, um, trivet that I got at Dollar Store that I used for mulling um, the watercolor paint that I make um, when it's safe to get back into a Dollar Store. Maybe I'll pick that up and use that instead of these tear-off palettes. But to start, it's a nice um, little easy-to-use palette to start playing with the mixtures. So, put that aside. And then I also got um, Arsh, not Royal Talent at all. I got their um, oil paper. And I just saw um, 
Instagram Live with uh, Quartzman's, which is another Toronto-based art supply store, and they're going to show at some point how to actually stretch the paper. Um, so I'll be looking out for that, and I will update you with any of that. And also Royal Talons, as you see another video, I got more of these um, liquid watercolors. This one's sky blue light. This one's indigo. And this one is burnt sienna. So I've got those three. So that's just a little quick um, update. I'll probably do a separate video of me working out this, um, this new media to me and how I mix the colors to do a, a whole range. You really have to check out that um, Jackson's blog because it's really interesting how many colors you can actually make. Now they're more of a muted um, palette. Um, you know, that's what leads people to get the, get other colors. But to start off with that, it's, you can make almost anything. So that's wonderful. And this is really a huge tube of white paint. So I look forward to playing around with those and discovering whether I like oil paint or not. I did, part of me did want to go full into like real quote unquote um, oil painting with the chirps and everything like that. but. I just, I couldn't do it, you know, I have health issues anyways, um, I spent years in a dark room, um, that I'm sure shortened my life expectancy by a little bit, um, because I had no ventilation in there, and it was tiny, so, um, yeah, so let's do things, if we can do them safely, why not? Okay, well, thanks very much and you'll see updates soon as these roll around. Whee! Before I forget, these are um, the Ecoline swatched out. So I got the indigo, the burnt sienna, and the sky blue light. And um, I can't wait to start using them.